Good morning and welcome back to 3G Video. Today we are at the Street Neat Day 2. Cars are getting ready to hit the track. It's going to be a fun, exciting day. Let's get started with today's action. starting to trickle into the pits. One nice thing about the street meet is that they don't actually start racing until about 11. They open gates at 9. Uh, 11 or 12 is when they start racing depending on the track and day. So it kind of gives you a little bit of time to sleep in in the morning, gives the drivers some time to work on some stuff if they had some breakages throughout the drive. So people are getting all ready and the track has been being prepped. They were working on it all night last night should be a very tight track they should be ready for us and it's going to be a good day we got some carnage over here fixing a wheel that's one way of doing it how, how did uh how did you break it or how did you get it bent what'd you hit 26 coming down through it was raining i didn't see the pothole oh i think that's i don't think it's moving anymore got cars up in the lanes ready to hit it and get it Racing's getting started here. We have the truck that we talked to last night. We have the Camaro that we've seen at Drag Week and Sick Week. Astro Van, the Cadillac, getting all ready to head down the pass for the first time today. scoreboards today so we aren't going to know right off the bat All right, so we just saw you make a pass. You changed your front wheels yep. for today. Uh, what, what happened? I'm trying to get some weight off the front. I might have got too much. So apparently it came up a little bit. But yeah. I feel like it was shaking tires a little bit, so I just I, I did a little pedal job on it. Okay. Well, uh, just ser searching for, you just trying to get a little more time out of it? Are you close to winning your class or being ahead? Or? I know we're close to winning, I don't think. I think some of them guys are flying. Uh, my personal time, brand new setup, I go 580s, I'd be happy. Okay. What what was your pass just there with with it spinning and everything? Uh, or, I think it was like six thirty. Six thirty. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. So we should be pretty. Close. Yeah, we don't got time on the board, so I got to come and ask. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All good, man. Well, we'll uh, we'll keep up with you as you uh, make your changes throughout the week, and we'll see how you do. Yeah, hopefully we make it. You you got it. You got this. 
<laughs> Apparently there's a trick to open the hood. Oh, that's fine. Oh, shoot. I mean, that's per Okay, yeah, there we go. That ain't small. Yeah. That's a good size. That's a good size. I just got turned it Yeah, you got to like ride it on the bumper, right? Yeah, I've been there before. I've done it before. There you go. Throwing sparks and everything. Last day. That, that's what we're looking for, right? Yeah, there you go. Nice. Thing is sweet. Our boys over here are finding the up arrow on their uh, on their computer, trying to. They uh, need uh, need a little more sauce out of it, apparently. So. in the pits like you do. We've got a couple of stick shift Mustangs up here. We'll see if the changes that they made are actually going to uh, gonna work for them. They can get that up button to work. Staying over in the left lane, I think missed a shift. Moving. Let's see if they're going to send this thing to the moon again. Again, that's what's up. Malibu made it. They've been having some serious issues. Their wheels and tires, their drag wheels and tires fell off of the trailer last night while they were driving. They've been scrounging, trying to figure out. They think they might have found a solution. Found some tires to uh, throw over onto the other wheels. So they're gonna try to get this thing back together, make a pass today, and uh, keep in the competition. They went back and forth between the two. Uh, tracks and everything crazy crazy uh crazy night for them but you know it's part of dragon drive overcoming some of these situations and these guys are definitely living that dragon drive lifestyle well as always with dragon drive we have cars still making some passes as others are getting ready to pack up and head out on the road so some of my clients are getting ready to head that way we're gonna get packed up ourselves and uh see what we can see out on the road hopefully get some good uh good shots out on the road today Oh, we got Benny all packed down, ready to hit the road. Um, going to CPR performance parts for our first checkpoint today. So let's uh, get on the road and see some guys in the nice daylight and have a good trip today. All right, guys, everybody's starting to get packed up. There's a couple. We'll see if the uh, yes stand's gonna make a pass. The Malibu is still trying to work on their tires today. Uh, are hopefully gonna make their pass and then get back on the road. They're cutting it kind of close, but hey, that's part of it. Got to overcome some things to uh, make this exciting, you know. Uh, goodbye for now to this track. On to the next one. Seems like to get anywhere around here, you have to go two lane highways through all the woods. It's actually pretty cool. Well, guys, we made it to the first checkpoint, CPR. And we have a couple of the rigs here. So that's pretty sweet as we're coming in. Caught up with some of our racers. We're gonna hang out here. We'll get a live stream going. It'll be good. What do we have here at our first? We have the Dodge truck with the 440 in it. That is one of uh, CPRs, I believe. Nice old Ford. That thing looks nice. Got the Nova, got the GMC truck, uh, the other Nova and the SS that we saw earlier. 
Everybody's just hanging out here at CPR for a little bit. I'm probably gonna go on to a live stream while we're hanging out here at the uh, first checkpoint. So make sure you're checking out the live streams uh, during out all of the days that we are at race events like this. We have a checkpoint, we'll be doing live streams. So make sure you're checking those out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that, and hit the bell notification so you know when we go live so you can come on, have chats. I love being able to have that interaction. So make sure you're doing that. Thank you guys. Anyways, I appreciate all the support in that. But we're gonna hang out here and then we'll uh, get on the road and I'll check back with you after the live stream. Okay guys, we just got done with the live stream. We had a lot of cars come in during that. So again, make sure you go check out the live stream here at uh, CPR. Not all the route stops we're gonna be doing, we're gonna have those live streams. So check those out. Anyway, a lot of cars here. They are getting some parts for what they need and then hitting the road to our next route stop. So I think we're gonna get all packed up and head that way ourselves. So let's uh, get back on the road and head to Bucky's. Getting ready to leave and the Astro van came rolling in and we also got the BRZ here. I like it with the, uh, the same wheels all the way around. Not always huge on the BRZs, but this thing looks pretty decent. You know, got the carbon fiber wing on the back. Apparently he's had it on the tail, so that's pretty cool. This is something you normally see at like a grid life event that we do, but he's out here at Street and Yeet having fun with everybody. <laughs> some people get into the checkpoint we're gonna hang out for a little bit should be good got a couple of the racers hanging out here at Bucky's they got the right idea got their chairs out hanging out in the shade eating some dinner got my trash run for me done probably gonna run back in Bucky's because you know always got to go use the bathroom in there and hang out in the atmosphere of Bucky's so, been a good trip so far, that's for sure. Got me a Bucky's drink. Got some more of us showing up at Bucky's. What's up? They made it. What's up? Guys, rolling out of Bucky's. Have a good one. Man. See ya. Sitting here talking. It's always good to catch up with drivers here at any of the drag and drive events, especially at route stops like this. It's so cool, man. Oh, yeah. Love it. Hello. Well, guys, we hung out at Bucky's for a good little while. Just saw a Ferrari go by in a box truck thing with glass walls. Oh, it's right up here. That thing is sick. We're gonna get back on the road and head over to the track to have camping tonight. Got some guys that are gonna be working on one of the race cars, so we're gonna go check in on them, see how the Holly Swap is going. Look at this Ferrari, guys. That's insane. Like, you carry it in a box truck with windows. That's awesome. So cool. Okay, let's hit the road. Well, guys, we have made it to the next track. 
I think it's down there where that big rig is pulling out. You have arrived. I have arrived. Darlington, Ragway. No idea where I'm going in here, but I'm sure the other guys are all camping here. Let's go find them, hang out for the night. I always show up to the track and they are at work on this thing. You guys changed out an ECU and all the wiring and such? Yep, they can pull out, put the hallway in. Nice, nice. Did you find the, uh, find the one place that had light for you? Let's take a good gander at this thing. Woo! They're working on the Mustang swap in. You know and I got this trailer. He's got you a slide out with the box. This thing is a sick trailer. He's got a tent on the top. And a porch light. Oh, and a light? That's sick. And the tent thing folds out on top. This is a rig, man. This is how you do dragon drives. I have a feeling this is going to be a late night. They are repinning and getting everything. This is an LS harness going on a small block Ford. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, See them get it done. I'm sure they will. It's going to, uh, hopefully the Terminator is going to really help the issues that they were having with this. Well, it was on a Haltech before, correct? Yeah, it was on a Haltech and whoever did it before locked the ECU. He just bought the car. They wouldn't unlock the ECU. So it was basically useless as a car. Yeah. Well, the Terminator won't have those issues. So that's good. Yeah, it will still be a Ford. Well, okay. Yes, it will still be a Ford. You are correct. That until it, until it has an LS in it, then uh, that will be a that will be a problem. But they'll they'll figure it out. Well, they got the car back on the ground together. It is 4:30 a.m. It is not running right now. They do have to do a couple things in the morning: get a distributor and uh, one other thing on the wiring. They'll get it figured out uh, in the morning. So you'll be looking for that in the next video. So guys, you will see that on the next episode of tomorrow's video. So make sure you're tuning back in to see uh, that thing run again and make its pass uh, tomorrow. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining. Again, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you can see all the live streams and all the videos that we come out with at all these events. It's, it's a big help. You guys have been super awesome and I really, really appreciate it. Anyways, that's it for today. Have a blessed day and I'll talk to you guys next time.